If you can't tell, I'm in my new office. Hi everybody, today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my new art studio slash work from home office slash content creation studio, however you want to call it. It's where I work every day and it is in my new home and it's amazing. I loved my old office, don't get me wrong, like I loved it, but there were some things I didn't love about it and I was able to remedy some of those things in this new space in our new house in Denver. So if you're new here, I just moved from Napa, California to Denver, Colorado we went from an 1100 square foot house to about three times the size and when we were looking one of our top priorities was office space for me because I work for myself and I work from home I make art I make videos I record podcasts I have an Etsy shop there's just a bunch of things I do and they're all from home so I needed some space to accommodate that in a previous video and for the life of me I can't remember which video it is I talked about some things that I really hoped for in my new office, and I didn't get all of them. A few of the biggies were more space, natural light, sound control, a door that closes. I got three of those. Let me explain. In my house, there is a place with a shit ton of gorgeous natural light in like the front room. I have a vlog where you can check that out. I'll link that up above. We love the, the floors they put in, which are like a laminate kind of situation and they have vaulted ceilings. There's no sound control, no door. And even though there was space, it just would have been real hard for me to have like what I needed there. It was, aside from the natural light, it basically was not what I needed. What I needed was the basement. The problem with the basement is there's very, very little natural light. There's a tiny bit coming in from the egress windows, but that's about it. I sacrificed natural light for a door that closes, hella space, and some pretty excellent sound control because this is carpeted and it has a lower ceiling than the rest of the house, which has vaulted ceilings. Now, when it comes to the light, if you can't tell, there's a little bit of a yellow cast. This There's can lights in the ceiling here and they are not ideal when it comes to having good light for painting and for filming. I do have some natural light bulbs that are specific for artists coming. They were super pricey, like 25 bucks a pop. It was an investment I knew I wanted to make for my office. And at the time of filming, they are still not here yet. Once I do get them, I will be sure to let you know how I like them, were they worth the money and are they helpful? But in the meantime, we're gonna just go with this and see how we can manage it. The other thing I wanna mention is this is version 1.0. As you can notice, I have not set up the Kanban board yet. I have not put inspiration on the bulletin boards yet. And when we go through my drawer, you're going to see stuff in there but they're not going to be exactly organized yet this is very much just sort of like baseline but a lot of you wanted to see it and so I wanted to show you kind of where I'm starting from and then maybe six months down the road from now when I've like lived in it and really made some changes and really like made it my own I'll do another tour if you want to see kind of what that might look like not exactly but like a, the difference between something like this and a very lived in office. I will link my previous office tour up above, which is, I redid it, I loved it, and then we found out we were moving. Although to be fair, that one's also about half hot mess as well. Also, if there's anything in this video you're interested in, I will do my best to link as much as I can in the description below, as well as in my Amazon store, which you can check out and look in the office and the filming supplies, and that should be another good place to find a lot of this shit. I've rambled long enough. Let's get into the tour of my new art studio and work from home office. I hope you enjoy it. Like I said in the intro, very much version 1.1. There's still random shit that needs to be taken out. You'll see, like for example, cardboard and garbage needs to go upstairs. That cushion needs to find a home. Our burrow couch, we got the chase for it. And this is like, in case you wanna get rid of the chase, we have the couch cushion. So we have to just find a home for that. These items still need to go upstairs. I think they've been down here since I did my first tour down here. This whole thing is basic storage, holiday decorations and shit, but I claimed part of it for extra work stuff. We've got like extra packaging for prints, extra prints, pens for a long awaited brush pen Thunderdome, extra tech stuff, some lamps, some drawer organizers I need to use at some point, things like that. That's just a bunch of storage, right? But the rest of it in this dark cavern is both where other storage is and where the cats like to hide. So over here is like my relaxing corner. This is also where Jesse and the kids have decided they're gonna come by and hang out. Originally I was gonna make this my filming area for face forward stuff. However, this wall is concrete and we can't put anything on it. 
kind of threw a monkey wrench in my plans, but at the very least it gives me somewhere to sit that's different than my desk to chill. It gives Jesse a place to sit and chat with me, it gives the kids a place to sit and chat with me, or just to chat with each other. On either end here are these little bamboo shelves I got from the container store. They're basically, this one has mostly art books on it, and then on here it's just some random items that I haven't quite made a home for yet. We have one of my Chrissy Ann Designs blankets, my Rust is Productive pillow, my Nicolas Cage pillow, my Steve, some random shit that needs to get put away, and this pink couch, which is from Amazon. It folds down into like a sleeper. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but it's real nice for its purposes. And then I got this like squishy beanbag ottoman from Home Goods. Another bookshelf on top is my books. Hey, look at that. And then mostly like business books. And then this light is my magnifier light. It can be a desk light, which is what it was in the old office, but I'm actually gonna put the extenders on so I can utilize it when I'm finishing fuckery flowers. I just haven't done that yet. We go up here, there's my pothos plant it's toxic for cats which is why it's up here so they can't get to it if you saw my first tour and i told you kind of where i wanted things to go this is not the way it was originally going to go but because of the aforementioned concrete wall we had to put all the things on the wall onto the drywall wall so this is not the prettiest angle so we'll go around because cords and shit are fucking everywhere right now because i'm in the middle of filming but the nice part about having all this space is, is that the tripods and the lights can stay built and just get put off to the side when I'm like painting or something and don't want a uh, mess. So I guess we'll start with the wall first. There's not much on here yet. I actually am gonna film my Kanban board set up after this. So shortly this will get filled. And then I need to do some filling up of my yearly planning board. We'll start here, I guess. These three bulletin boards are from the container store and they are to put like inspiration and stuff up. I wanted to be able to just look at them and feel inspired when I was down here and add color to the walls. But because the walls are so textured, this is probably the best way to put stuff up. I just haven't done it yet. These two acrylic boards came from a, sh a shop called Circle and Square Decor on Etsy, which I will leave linked below. They were not cheap, <laughs> but I got them because I wanted to be able to see yearly planning at a glance for work, and then this is gonna be my Kanban board. Jesse wrote that. Like I said, I'm gonna be setting the Kanban board up next. And then over there is a document holder that I'm gonna use for work that needs to be scanned. Trash cans. And then this is my new desk setup. So this is the same chair from my office. I got it at Staples. Potentially, yeah, I think it was Staples in Napa, and I love it. You'll recognize this from the old house, my Ikea um, wide set of drawers, got Kleenex and my scanner on top, and then this bag I just got from Moxie Life. I'm gonna give it a try as like a holder for my planners, and so I can bring them upstairs if I'm not gonna be working down here. Throw my iPad in there. It says some stuff there, but then it says just begin on this side. However, as you can see, it's not standing up straight right now because it's got some heavy shit in there. So in this drawer, in the top, and again, like I said, don't judge. This is the barest veneer of organization. So this is like pens and shit that I use on the regular, things I use on the regular. So the current and next month's bullet journal pens, this is like adhe like glue sticks and tweezers and bone folders and little scissors, more adhesives and whiteouts, scissors. This is the charger for my uh, keyboard. Pens, tape, whiteboard pens, random washi tape, random scotch tape, post-it notes for my Kanban board, and then my zig dot markers and my new address stamp, which I'm very excited about. My tech drawer, you know, Batteries, memory cards, cords, uh, replacement keys for my keyboard, my label maker, my hard drive, more scissors, stamps, a tripod. These are accessories for my iPad. So my iPad, my pencil like grip, and then my little gloves I use with my iPad. And I've got extra off, uh, Apple Watch bands, shit like that. Not very organized. My, my little printer, my HP printer, and I've got like a battery back there, lav mic. Sort of an assortment of tech, like I said, not exactly organized. This is slightly more organized. These are specialty watercolor papers that um, I bought from Blick and then broke into smaller pieces. All of my Cultivate What Matters stickers and things like that are back here. I have a sketchbook here, a coaster from Simply Gilded, some random stickers and items that I just wanted to keep close at hand, and a ruler. This is a lot of watercolor paper. So here is my light pad, but underneath this is all watercolor paper, just different 
kinds, blocks and pads, sketchbooks, and so on and so forth, all watercolor paper. This is all of my other random specialty art paper. So black watercolor paper, I've got uh, graphite transfer paper, tracing paper, vellum is in here, pastel paper is in here, newsprint, sketch paper, all sorts of different papers in here. And then this final drawer is cutting tools. So cutting like my, you know, cutter, paper cutters, rulers, cutting mats, exacto knives, sorry about my feet. <laughs> We got punches, all sorts of things in here. Basically what I wanted for this and this was to keep stuff that I use all the time close at hand. And so that's kind of why all that's there. This is a little janky drawer that I got from Ikea. The only reason I got this little janky one instead of using one of my existing ones is because it fits really nicely underneath the standing desk. But it's, it's janky, janky as fuck. This top one currently has all my white current like in use white paint pens and paint and white markers and then these are the sets of colored pencils for the current fuckery flowers I'm working on like the colors that I'm using for the two different fuckery flowers I'm in the middle of my little my little swatch book I've got an eraser and a stamp back there because I'm not organized at all this guy has all sorts of drawing pencils erasers and blending stumps and sharpeners this is just a massive pile of fucking fine liners. <laughs> so many different fine liners. All black, all black. This is extra watercolor paints. The current ones I'm using, some extra brushes that I'm not really in the middle of right now. And I've got all my water brushes here. I've got my droppers. Like I, I have a gigantic fucking pack of them. So this is just a small amount of them uh, for like watercolor inks. I've got bleed proof white in here, which is awesome. I've got like three jars of this and I've got some Sharpies. More black fine liners. Then I've got my sketching color pencils. So these are erasable colored pencils and erasable mechanical colored pencils, which are great for sketching, like to go as an underlayer for watercolor. And then in here I have masking fluid as well as the brushes that I use when I use Gamsol Mineral Spirits to blend color pencils. I just keep those separate. And then down here is miscellaneous art tools. A rag I use, some baby wipes, and some deli paper. Also of note beneath my desk, this is the basement. It gets chilly even when it's hot, so I have a blanket and some slippers to keep my little tootsies warm. This is my standing desk. I love it. It's massive, massive. I'm not gonna make it stand right now because I just have so much shit going on. I don't wanna fuck with it at the moment, but it's it's great. The standing feature is really nice, especially when I'm editing. Like tomorrow, I'm gonna be spending a long time editing videos and being able to stand is gonna be so helpful. This desk is from Autonomous and two things regarding it. One, it is a pain in the ass to put together. Two, it's expensive. The reason I got this one instead of a less expensive option mainly is the size. This thing is fucking gigantic. And what I wanted was room for two computer monitors as well as plenty of space for painting and filming so that if I spill water, I'm not gonna be as terrified of a gain on my computer. And this desk fits the bill. It's super sturdy and I love it, but it is expensive. There are so many options for standing desks that are great. Like you can get some one at Costco. So let's see what I've got on here right now. Most of this is gonna make sense to you. If you've ever seen my desk before, there's really not a ton here that's different. I like cold beverages. I also like other cold beverages. There's my Kindle, which I need to find the charger for. I got some of this from Trader Joe's, this strawberry lemon moisturizing hand cream, and I fucking love it, especially because of the, uh, the dehydration that's happening to me because of the altitude. This little thing is, I think from, was it Everspring? Something like that, it's a brand at Target. It's instead of a, a like diffuser that has oils in it, the little rods are soaked with oils. I figured maybe that would be less likely for me to like make a giant mess of if I knock it over. I think the one I got is bergamot and basil or something like, I don't know what it is, but it's nice. It's a citrusy situation. There's my salt lamp. Here is my just little tray with like a couple bracelets. This is where I would, like, if I knew where my nail clipper was, it would be in here. This little like ceramic tray or like clay tray is from a brand called Callahan Ceramics. 
This is a Lisa Eldridge lipstick in the color Painterly because when I was filming, I needed to touch up my lipstick and so it's down here. Plus I love looking at it. And then my bullet journal and the pens, my potassium is waiting for later today. I've got my iPad plugged in behind the computers. And then this monitor is an old janky monitor that we're just utilizing right now to see if two monitors works for me. If so, I'll probably get a better one. My trusty iMac, my trusty Lumpy, the hard drive that I edit on. And then I've got my little Elgato a stream deck as well as a hub because there's never enough USB ports. My beautiful clicky keyboard that you all ask about, it is again not inexpensive, it's not cheap, but it's linked in my Amazon shop. The brand is, what is it, Azio? Yeah, Azio. And it's amazing and I love it. It's loud, but I love it. Then there's my mouse pad and my mouse. My little phone charger, which I actually don't like very much. I don't think it's working very well, so I may get a different one. My pencil sharpener, because hell yeah. We've got a podcast mic. We've got a webcam for live streams, although I have a capture card, and by the time you see this, hopefully I will have figured out live streaming with my good camera. This is my new tripod, that I finally have the space for a good tripod to utilize my really good camera, and I'm hoping that this makes my video quality a little bit better. And then we got my lights. Here are my most used paint brushes and I got these little cat vases from Ikea. Couldn't resist, not a cat person. This thing is a thing to help you dry your brushes upside down. I have my little cups from Spoon and Sprig Studio online that I use for water and then my ceramic paint palette from Sylvan Clay Works. I am going to attempt to take some pictures of myself for my new website. This is like a remote. I have not figured it out yet. And then I have a watercolor sketchbook and this is the base for something that I haven't gotten yet called, um, I think it's called Canvas. It's a thing that can hold your phone and give you good lighting for filming. I wanna try using that to film painting because this whole rig here is all well and good for making videos, but for filming reels, which is something I wanna get better at, I need a, something a little bit, a little easier to adjust and so on and so forth. So this is the area where I film and where I paint. And then this is the area where I do all of the other things. Looking at this side of the room, all of these drawers and such are from the old house. The only thing I did was get appropriately sized desktops to make it one long table so that when the shop reopens, which it will be with the new fuckery flowers, there's a good spot to work and let prints dry and so on and so forth. I have a fan down here because the air in the basement can get real like stagnant feeling. There's not a lot of air circulation down here. And so just having the fan is helpful, whether it's hot or it's cold. Now, before we take a look at the desks though, we'll go up to this shelf. That was part of the house to begin with. We have prints for the fuckery flowers, postcards. I have the stickers. Aside from the rose sticker, there are three other ones that will be launched when the shop relaunches. Just some fun things that I have collected over the years. People have sent me stuff and stuff that I have bought and stuff that I've been given because I like it. My spider plant that's down here, more fun things. This little bowl has all of my like, like a lot of pins and stuff from different planner conventions. We've got some artist tape. We've got that aforementioned mineral spirits that I use for blending color pencils. This is a solvent, so I just gotta be careful with it. And then there's some spray mounting, like mounting spray right there. My old timey label maker, the microphone for my good camera that's currently in the tripod. We've got some lavender out of reach of the cats, a stack of planners and sketchbooks, a holder with some more sketchbooks and so on and so forth. Hey look, it's my book again. <laughs> some lotions that I love, my switch and some books that I like to access. All of my previous, well maybe not all of them, but this is pretty much most of my previous bullet journals. Random binders of stickers and like some of this is transplant information and other things. And then back here, my portfolios that have current and, current and previous artwork in them. There's my handy washi tape. If you didn't see my massive decluttering live stream, I will link it up above, but this is all the washi tape I kept and it has made it to Colorado. Up here is a little picture my niece drew for me and some Keith Haring pictures I need to get framed. Hey, Everspring, that's the name of the brand of that air freshener. So these are my Jane Davenport mermaid markers, which I love. A bunch of like gem pens from Pen Gems and uh, Couture pens and Villa Beautiful pens. 
all of my Chrissy Ann design, basically my main sticker collection is right here and right here, and then some tiny washi tapes. Now this entire table is pretty empty right now. I still haven't finished fully saying up. That's just some medical paperwork I have to deal with for the kids. But what this setup is going to be is not only my printer for just regular printing stuff, but what I want is to set my laptop up here with the label maker for when the print shop reopens. And then this will be for open orders. And there's all this room to work. So that's the, the goal for this area. I just haven't quite gotten there yet. Now going to the drawers, this is all storage for art supplies and pens and other supplies. And it's not, like I, this is very unorganized. I sort of was dumping where I thought things should go. There will definitely be tweaks made to this and then I will do a much more thorough tour. But up here we have fine liners, like flares and such, and I have some of the bold tip flares. So I wanna do a review on those sometime soon because that's awesome. More fine liners here, uh, Stabilo and Statler, and then these are the Zebra Click, what are they, Zebra Click Art pens, and then that little bag back there just has some random pens in it. We have the Nouveau Glitter Markers, a bunch of Tombow Twin Tones, and then a huge sack of, <laughs> of Bella Beautiful pens. Sharpies. We've got my Faber-Castell brush markers, some random pens. These are like some glitter pens, some slick writers, just a bag of random shit. Back here are all of my jelly rolls and underneath is my jelly roll color chart. This is my highlighter drawer. Fucking hella highlighters. Hella highlighters for days. And then hella Tombos for days. <laughs> I haven't decided if I'm gonna put them in their holder or not, or if I'm just gonna leave them in here. A bunch of Jane Davenport stuff, more mermaid markers, alcohol markers, pastels, inks, so on and so forth. And then this is my drawer that has all of my jelly plates and so like for gel printing, plus underneath that's a bunch of like children's art supplies like crayons, plus I think all my pastels are under there too. I'm saying I think, cause I can't fucking remember. Brush pens, we got uh, E. coli watercolor markers, Karen markers, these are uh, metallic brush markers and Zig brushables. More brush markers, Zig Clean Color Brush, Pentel brush pens, and then this is a mixture of Kelly Creates, Tombow Fude, uh, I think there's at least, I don't remember what else is in here, but Tombow, Kelly Creates, some other brush pens, like small brush pens basically. Crayola Super Tips. Gel pens, we have, these are the um, the Pilot Juice. I've got white and the metallic gel pens back here. Here are just some like poster markers and whiteboard markers. And then these are my like hot, nasty Hobbitses situations of various keychains and stuff because I don't know where I'm putting them yet. This is acrylic paint pens. So these are all of my Posca pens and my Woodcraft pens. And then these are my Acrylograph pens. And this is the Amy Tangerine watercolor set. This is all stamp inks, plus some random stickers. This is all of my Hydrus watercolor inks. I really want a better place to put them. This is where they're gonna live for right now. Some other watercolor inks in the back. And then these are the E. coli watercolor inks. And then in here are India inks, alcohol inks, and the Diane Dilutions, Diane Reevely ink sprays. And then stamps and stencils are down here. Then we go to here, and we have colored pencils. These are all of my, all of my Prismacolor pencils that are not currently being used. Ideally, I'd like to separate them by like color groups. I just haven't gotten there yet. And then back here are some other sets of colored pencils, watercolor pencils my Derwent pencils, and then my uh, Faber-Castell polychromos. Here are some other pencil. These are the Vera Thins, so they're the super like hard lead Prismacolors. The other ones are the soft lead. Here are just some general pencils and charcoal pencils, and then in here are all of my backup 
Prismacolor pencils. So colors I use a lot that I may need spares of. And then in here are my gelatos, my distress crayons, my gel highlighters, and a bunch of the tools that I use with those. And in the back, I've got Cran d'Ache water soluble crayons and a Jane Davenport water soluble crayons. And in there is very unorganized family files. I've got a big pad of watercolor paper under there because I have nowhere else to put it and my self-healing cutting mat. And here is watercolors. These are all paint palettes. So various palettes of paints, my Munio paints, my Paul Rubens paints, my Regina's watercolors, which are fucking rad, my travel palettes, all in there. And then this is my, all of my metallic watercolors are here. These are some handmade watercolors, some prong, like kids watercolors. This is another travel palette with a couple more travel palettes and my Gonzai Tombi Kirotaki watercolors. In here is all palettes, some empty palettes. We've got this for gouache. I've got ceramic palettes, all sorts of different watercolor palettes, like unused ones. All of my other tube paints that are not currently being used and all my gouache, as well as some fountain pen stuff in the back. All of my small watercolor palettes and then a bunch of mediums, gessos, and India ink. Now we've gotten into this back section here. This is all for the shop, unless I'm forgetting. So up here is extra stickers, gloves for handling prints, rolls of labels, so on and so forth. Order packing materials, more order packing materials, my scale for mailing, some business cards, envelopes, and then these are bookmarks that will be released when the shop reopens. And then down here is my mink with all of my foiling and also the thing that I got that you can use to like letter foil with because I needed somewhere to put it. <sighs> Printer paper. There's both regular paper and fabulous printer paper in here. This is the uh, really nice paper that I use for printing eight and a half by 11 prints on. Then I've got graph paper and back there is photo paper. And then in the bottom is more files. Also I have like colored cardstock and other things that are sort of hiding until I can figure out a good spot for them. And that is my office. I hope that you were interested in seeing this because it is kind of a hot mess right now. It's a lot of stuff, but everything made it here. Nothing died for the most part on the, the move. And I am excited to see what happens after I get through a season of reopening the shop in here, get back into reviewing, get back into really making art. And as I, you know, when you, you, you put things in like your kitchen or in somewhere to make them look nice and then as you use it, you really figure out the best places things need to go for most great, most amazing usability. So I'm not there yet, but if you're interested in a follow-up to this once I have lived in it for a while and have made some changes, let me know in the comments. And in the meantime, I would love to know your favorite pen, planner, supply, art supply. Pick something that you absolutely love and leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, peace.